I'm Daly. I'm Eva. And, and I, I work at the Electronic, Electronic Frontier, Frontier Foundation. Foundation. And we have a problem. Bodily autonomy is under attack. If you have a body and you do normal things like access healthcare, communicate with others, or use a phone or computer, search online, this includes you. Even if what you do isn't criminal today, bodily autonomy is under attack and the internet is a battlefield. Attacks on bodily autonomy are nothing new. But what makes this new wave of attacks different is that they're happening in an unprecedented era of digital surveillance, making our work harder and the world more dangerous for anyone who thinks control of their own body is important. So what are the threats? Well, in 2023, 49 of 50 U.S. states have anti-trans legislation on the books. As for abortion access, 22 states in the U.S. have enacted restrictions or outright bans since the fall of Roe v. Wade last year. So what does this all mean? Digital evidence is being used to prosecute everything from parents seeking trans health care for their kids to people providing assistance with getting an abortion. This has serious implications for free speech, for our right to privacy, and for the ways in which communities are rethinking how to protect themselves. It's time for everyone in this fight to take a good, hard look at their operational security. Here are the kinds of evidence that we've seen so far. Emails, Google searches, text messages, and Facebook messages. We have lots of advice for how you can protect yourself over at Surveillance Self-Defense. But we don't think you should have to be James Bond to protect your basic privacy rights. Significant changes need to come from companies that have made a business model out of collecting and selling information about our digital lives. So if you're working inside one of these companies, if you're a tech worker, fight for protecting your users. You can do that like implementing end-to-end -end encryption and encrypting the data at rest. Stand up to and resist government requests for sensitive user data. Delete the data that you don't need from users and overall just minimize the data that you collect in the first place. Some companies have made positive changes since the Dobbs decision to overturn Roe. Flow, a popular period tracking app, followed through on their promise to deliver an anonymous mode that better protects user privacy. Others have made pledges that didn't turn out so great. Google, for example, committed to deleting user location data around healthcare clinics that offer abortion services. But a recent study found that the data is still up there. This lack of privacy is outing people and allowing their health data to be collected alongside any other behavioral tracking online. Software that has a reputation for inadvertently outing LGBTQ students is now on computers in school districts where LGBTQ life is increasingly criminalized. And what all these things have in common is the very real threat caused by mass surveillance and criminalization of bodily autonomy. It isn't just healthcare. There are speech laws, book bans, a whole data broker industry run amok. And the last thing we need is the most vast and sophisticated surveillance apparatus in history, enhancing the dangers under new criminal law, or worse, making them profitable. So what kinds of solutions do we need? We need strong state level and federal laws that restrict law enforcement access to personal data. We need to pass protections around bodily autonomy. Having privacy protections will drastically reduce the threats that people are facing from digital surveillance. We need to coordinate cross-movement advocacy to easily share knowledge and resources between these different causes. But all of these threats posed by digital surveillance would be made basically irrelevant for good if we had robust, comprehensive federal privacy legislation for all. In a privacy-violating present, we need to organize for a privacy-preserving future. We deserve ownership over our own bodies on our own terms.